Welcome to our next installment of Hashtag SMS, The Place to Be. Today we welcome Miss Elizabeth Sanderson as our next guest. Good morning, Mrs. States. Thank you for welcoming me here. It's so nice to have you back, Liz. It's just great to have you back at St. Mary's. We're going to le learn a little bit about Miss Sanderson and what she um, envisions here at St. Mary's and why she's back with us. And we're going to let her tell a little bit about her story today. So why don't we start, Miss Sanderson, with telling us a little bit about your background. Uh, so I actually was at St. Mary's for two and a half years and I was the first grade teacher here. Um, and the reason why I am now in the middle school is I actually have multiple teaching certifications. And for those of you who don't know what that means, if you go to school and you decide you want to be a teacher, you can pick what area you want to specialize in. And I just love learning and education so much that I just couldn't choose. So I have a background in music education, elementary education, um, and then secondary education, which is grades 7 through 12, in ELA and literacy. Um, so I went to Fredonia, Buffalo State, and the University of Buffalo for all of these degrees. Really just wanted to get some new experiences so I could become a stronger teacher, so I went out and I worked with some really impoverished communities. I worked with a lot of students who were from different countries, a lot of students from different cultures, different religions. Um, and I got to learn so much, and when I found out there was an opportunity to come back for middle school ELA um, at the school that's just always been the home of my heart, I, I jumped on it. So I came back, and I'm so thrilled to be here doing uh, 6, 7, and 8 ELA. That's awesome. We are thrilled to have Miss Sanderson back. We were thrilled when she was our first grade teacher, and we're just excited as can be to have you on the middle school team. So you told us a little bit about why you left. What, what endears St. Mary's to you? You know, growing up, I always was kind of the teacher student in every classroom, and I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. And when I got out of college and I got my first teaching job, it was something where I loved working with the students, but it just didn't feel like I was the right fit for that place. And when I had the opportunity to come to St. Mary's the first time, it was like everything kind of aligned and clicked. Um, there's a community feeling here that you really don't get elsewhere, and I mean with the, with the parents, with the teachers, with the students together, with the administration staff, with you, it's everyone really comes together for the greater good. And it's something where, you know, at other schools, yes, people work together, but there's not that same sense of, of spirit and wanting to do good as a whole unit without feeling like you need to stand out or be the superstar. It's we all work together to help people grow. And that's something that I'm just so thrilled to be back with. That's fantastic because I feel like what you just said is indicative of everything that St. Mary's is all about. You know, we are dedicated to the whole child. We are concerned about the family. We want to um, bring the parents in on, on the communication and, and be a team. Oh. Ms. Sanderson, you are in the middle school. Mm -hmm. You're teaching ELA, English Language Arts. Can you tell us what ELA is for St. Mary's and why you like teaching it? Sure. Um, so the actual long form of ELA is English Language Arts. Um, basically, in ELA, it's growing that love of literature, learning to read, really learning to um, analyze what's going on, really develop those creative thinking skills, and really developing those critical thinking skills. Um, and what we do is we not only learn through reading, but we learn through viewing things, we learn through speaking, we learn through even analyzing song lyrics, um, what is trying to be said and not necessarily taking everything at face value. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's something that we've lost a lot um, in education is sometimes we just have to get to that answer and sometimes there's different interpretations mm -hmm. of an answer and that's something I really try to explore with the students in our ELA program. I liked the fact that you said even analyzing music lyrics. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there. There's poetry and emotion and metaphors and everything else. There is, and right? sometimes you learn that there's a whole story and what you heard in a song and while reading the song lyrics might be completely different than what your neighbor learned. And it doesn't mean that one is necessarily more correct than the other, but it's just seeing that, that whole unity of human spirit and that whole unity of, of creativity that everyone 
can see things differently. Even if it feels black and white to you, it might be purple to someone else, and that's something we need to learn as we walk through life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your program that, that you're using here in ELA, um, what do you think that that's going to do for the students that are graduating from St. Mary's? Um, well, in the past, what it, one of the things that St. Mary's has always done that's really amazing is they have that advanced ELA path and then they have the standard ELA path that goes the Regents pace. Um, so students who go through that advanced path are going to have a little bit more of a leg up as they enter high school than some of their peers from different schools because they're going to be exposed to high school level literature in mm -hmm. the eighth grade. But even if you don't go that route and you under my direction, we're going to be going into those higher level thinking skills that sometimes get left by the wayside. Um, and what I really try to do is really push that idea of if you can explain your thinking or you have an opinion, that's great. Can you back up that opinion? And being able to go back and explain your answers, having those conversations with your peers, which can always be scary talking with your peers, but having those conversations, being able to write it, and being able to, in your own mind, sort through your thinking to figure out, this is why I believe what I believe, is a huge skill that they're going to be able to use as they go into high school and beyond. Yeah, beyond college, general life skills. Absolutely. Okay, right? It's very difficult, um, especially in today's world, sometimes to have a conversation with someone who has a different belief than you. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to articulate your thoughts in a respectful manner, in an articulate mm -hmm. manner, um, and being able to back up your thinking, even if it's an opinion, mm -hmm. is very important in today's world, and I really hope that this will help people to feel more prepared and be able to make connections and build bridges instead of walls with each other. That's, that's a beautiful sentiment. Speaking of bridges, um, as you know, we are a stream school, mm -hmm. and so I'm just wondering what you're uh, envisioning um, now that you're back at St. Mary's at the middle school level. Um, as to how ELA and middle school can be um, incorporated into our stream program? Well, luckily, um, with all the different open interpretations of literature, ELA is one of the subjects that really lends itself well into stream. Um, we are continuing on the tradition of our long walk to water, where we have to build water carrying apparatuses, and we learn about what's happening around the world in terms of the water crisis. Um, and it helps to build that empathy piece of realizing there's other people who have needs as well. Mm -hmm. um, but additionally, as I'm going through and sifting through different literature pieces, we're going through and we're reading and coming up with different character stories. How would characters react in certain situations like that? And if they have a problem to solve, building a tangible thing to help solve that problem. Awesome. Awesome. So even ELA is hands-on, interactive, cross-curricular. It's Absolutely. not the ELA I remember. We <laughs> wrote essays all day long. We do write some essays. We do still write essays. <laughs> but no, and it's um, it's something where I've even reached out to Mrs. Genevieve's at the beginning of the year when we were working on some reflective pieces in one of the eighth grade classes I was doing, and we came up with a mini art project they could do at the beginning of the year. Um, awesome. I've worked with Mr. Pullen as we're reading The Outsiders in Seventh Grade Now, which is a well-known movie and a play adaptation, and he does some drama instruction as well, so we're working out how can we play together and get these kids the most well-rounded exposure to these stories that we can. So um, is there anything that you would like our viewers to know about you or what your hopes are for um, St. Mary's while you're here? Uh, absolutely. Um, while I'm here, I really hope that I am just making those connections with our families and making our connections with our students while we're going through, not just with literature, but as helping them to grow as people. Um, I've had many parents reach out to me with questions in terms of, you know, what are we learning? And as we go, we just start having conversations about, you know, things that are going on at home or things that they're noticing in their social life. And it helps to build those connections and help students through who might be struggling with something that's not academic. Middle school is a very uh, interesting time. I know every adult out there can remember their middle school years. Um, and there's a lot of changes that go on and your personality is really developing. You're starting to become a mature adult. So as we're going through that journey together, you're gonna make some great choices. You're gonna make some not so great choices. You're gonna make those mistakes and that's totally okay. But I hope that you know that you're able to come to me and talk to me about things if you have a concern as a student or a parent, um, even if it's not academic related and we're all here to help. And that's the great part about being here is you could say that of any teacher, any faculty member in this building is we, we want to help you to grow in every way. 
Yeah, and, and the other great thing about being a teacher or a student or a parent of a student here at St. Mary's is Jesus comes into play. Absolutely. In, in any of those conversations. Um, and we don't get to do that in other school settings. No, and there, there were many circumstances. As I mentioned, one of the things that I needed to go out and grow was I needed to see I needed to see how some people were going through certain struggles. And working with students from other countries, working with students who came from not such perfect situations, all I wanted to do was to be able to sit and say a prayer with them. And unfortunately, I couldn't. I could go home and pray for them. Uh, but it's nice here that we can take that moment to center ourselves. We can take that moment to ask Jesus to walk with us, to give us some answers, to guide us through a situation. So it's nice to be able to do that here, and I know that every teacher here has taken moments to do that when needed. That's great. Um, well, those are all of my questions, unless you have something that you would like to impart. I'm just so grateful to be back. I, I really am. When I heard that this opportunity came up, I, I jumped at it, and I was nervous that um, if you walk away, it's sometimes hard to come back, and it, it hasn't been. It's been so smooth and so beautiful, and thank you to the parents and the students and every teacher for just making this welcome back so beautiful, um, and I hope that I'm meeting your expectations. Well, you are, and this is just a wonderful example of why hashtag SMS, the place to be, is really the place to be. Thanks for tuning in.